Howdy folks. Well today my to-do list consists of I'm going to put up a shed on the other side of the map in the corner for some machinery. Uh, I bought a new combine and a 45 foot draper so when it come time to harvest I'm going to have two combines running and I also bought a uh, another cedar and tractor so it can I, I can have two of them out there s sewing at the same time just to save some time and uh, first we're gonna sell some beer to mom we drank all that other beer not feeling too good today but that's another story and if we have time we'll make some roads around the house my new house and plant some trees so let's begin by selling some beer that's always fun now if you remember last time the brewery didn't come back on after we went and collected these so this time I made sure that the display is off so I know it's all done alright we'll see if it comes back on All right. There they go. I don't know how much we're going to get for them. I don't think it's going to be a lot of money, but that's okay, you know. We told Mom to charge us enough so she could make some money off of it. In a future episode, we'll uh, probably build Mom a house somewhere. Right now she's living with me and I just assumed she had her own place. Yeah, that was good beer. We thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, we got $35,000 for that load. Better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. She'll probably sell it all for $50,000 by the time we're done, so I give her a little bit of cash to play with. Not like business is booming, you know. We do the best we can. Well, let's go see if this uh, brewery fired back up like it should. 
Yep, looks like it did. So I guess that's what the problem was. I uh, grabbed them things before they was done filling them, and for some reason that just put a halt to production. We're down at the corner of the field that I spoke of earlier, and we're going to buy us a shed that we can park this equipment in. Now I'm going to be having one overloader trying to deal with both combines when the time comes. So we'll see how well course play handles that. I, I have used it in the past with success but course play has been acting somewhat goofy on this map. What are we looking for? A shed! Well, we got lots of sheds. But I gotta get a solar shed so we can make a little money, generate a little electricity. Ooh, that's pretty big. I did stretch it. Yeah, it looks good. Testing out the brakes here. Did a little adjustment. They look like they work just fine. Okay. Now we need to go and get the new sower, along with a new tractor. This is a Fent Vario. It's a monster. I got her all loaded up full of seed and fertilizer. Well, let's take her on over to the shed. Steering's a little touchy on this. Yeah, I figured that, uh, although I'm in no hurry, it just takes a long time to get this entire field processed or farmed as we call it in the processing world. So I'll have two of them going at the same time for both operations and they'll, they'll meet in the middle somewhere I guess. And, and I think that that overloader will work just fine for tending to both of them. I did it once with some a cotton field, a cotton harvester. I had two of them going and it, you know, sometimes you couldn't get to both of them at, at the same time. <laughs> but, yeah, they just sit there and wait until it gets around to it. Now this is a big field, so there's, there's a lot of time involved between pickups for it and, and it does hang out and wait for it, it to be full so one of the pieces of equipment may sit there for a little bit waiting to be emptied but it'd still be faster than just having one 
combine in one seater. Okay, we're in the uh, wheat section right now. Planted this field with half wheat, half barley. It'll all go to beer. Got no other use for it. Well, since we really don't have any money-making projects going on here, uh, my $10 million is going to be gone in a, in a bit, so... Somewhere in the future, I'm going to have to come up with ways to make money. I guess I can just plant... Uh, should get enough off of one harvest of this whole field for the beer to hold us a while, so I guess I'll have to plant some... I'm really thinking about planting grass and then uh, putting in a pellet mill, making pellets and selling those. That could be good. That would be a lot of grass. Have to find me a good mower. That grasshopper is a really good mower, and it's got a big holding tank in it, but it won't work with a helper. And I can't get course play to work on this field, except for, you know, little things like overloading, but I mean, as far as actually working the field, it, it can't handle it. It's too big. It just locks up the game. I already tried it. Okay. That takes care of that. Well, I thought that was that, but it's not. I need to get this thing seeding. And get the other one going as well. See how this tractor does in pulling this uh, cedar. a good retarder sound to it, doesn't it? Well, I guess it's good. All right. Set her for 30 miles an hour like the other one. They both be planting wheat. We're done with our barley. Now next time around if I plant two crops I'll have one planting each kind but I had already got the barley planted so I decided to use both of these. And you can see there's a little more wheat than there is barley. Well, my eyeballs wasn't working right when I did that, I guess. All right, it's time to make some roads. Not that we need them, but it makes the place look nice. Get out the old road paver fired up here. 
Now I think I uh, need to do a little bit of work over here by the tent city. Finish this road off. There, that looks better. You go down to the house. Maybe something along here. I don't think so. I'm thinking maybe we could make this one a little wider. So I've been thinking about getting myself a heliport for my chopper. It's at the bottom of my list, but I've been thinking on it. Okay. There's my front walk. I was gonna do it in cement, but you know, I don't like cement. Reminds me of the big city. So I think I'll just stick to dirt. Now I wanna put a little carport alongside the house to keep my Jeep in, because yeah, I don't have a top for it. We'll see how we're going to do that. I'll leave a little bit of grass. Well, that's not much. Carports. I think I got a carport that I was thinking of. Maybe not. Not the one I was thinking of. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's called a picnic shelter. But you know what? Cars will fit in it. That's a nice uh, little addition to the house there, isn't it? 
It'll keep my Jeep dry. Sure. Boy, it's almost as big as the house. So if you don't see the Jeep in the carport, you'll know I'm not home. Of course, you won't have to go far to find me. Look around back. Maybe we want some little dirt around back, huh? Little road goes and well. Well, not really. any more dust flying than we have to, I guess. I'm going to park this and plant some trees and dress the place up real nice. All right. Trees. My tree of choice is an oak tree. Therefore, that is what we shall plant. One right there. And one right there. Probably need one or two out back. No, I want to be able to drive my car all the way through. I'll put one there and one alongside the house here that we can sit under in the summertime and drink beer. There you go. Now it looks like a home, don't it? Well, Bob's not home. So let's take a little ride in a chopper, get up in the air and see what we got done so far. Fresh start at the edge of town. Yeah, we got a nice little tent city. The diner to hang out in. Looks like there's a couple of truck drivers there. Don't know where they're from. There's that old 56 Mac. We got our store.
some storage in the cell point and of course the brewery so we still got a lot of room to put more things in here the industrial section down here could sport some, you know so pellet mill or anything like that make us a few bucks see how our beer is doing yeah, it's coming along I'm in real time so we're not gonna get any real quick but we got a good beginnings Now got a couple of combines and a couple of cedars out there working right now. Must both be down at the other end of the field. can see why it's called Bob's Biggest Acre. Well, we're going to go out and track down these cedars, see how they're doing. Thanks for joining me, folks. I'll see you next time.